Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. First, let me ask, uh, uh, or thanks, actually, the organizer for this unique opportunity to see the beautiful city Budapest and to give me avenue just from uh, one coming from a region as a woman representing uh, GCC, uh, mainly UAE. I am a political science professor, and I am heading uh, a think tank, but mainly is fo focusing on foreign relations and international uh, relations. Maybe I will talk uh, today about my country and, of course, comparing with other GCC countries. Uh, the World Government Summit, which is yearly held in Dubai uh, uh, since nine years now, uh, this year in UAE, rang alarm bills for countries that did not start reform and change, especially in the light of the new uh, challenges that began to materialize. All of this comes at the time when digital financial transactions have begun to spread and features uh, of the fourth industrial revolution are imposing themselves on both public and private sectors. Such a revolution is making the physical world closer to the digital one with the rise of unprecedented innovations, technologies, and methods that would merge the physical, digital, and biological worlds in uh, ways that might make dramatic shifts to human and other uh, and their future. This revolution, however, would introduce challenges in the field of climate, education, health, and space exploration. UAE strategic vision towards these shifts realized that these shifts carry opportunities more than challenges. The UAE enjoys a modern infrastructure. And anyone will you get a chance to visit my country will see this fact in which the country has invested over uh, the past decades, such infrastructures most likely would qualify uh, UAE to engage in the fourth industrial revolution in, the, in a resilient way, better than other countries in the region. In fact, maybe UAE was the first country in the Arab world who initiated and really applied electronic government and smart cities. Uh, of course, thanks to Emirati society with a youth majority and a political leadership focused on localizing this digital revolution. Such a revolution would provide smart solutions, new trajectories, for development and progress, boost productive resources, and raise the standards of living and the quality of education and health. As Paul Krugman said in his article in New York, Mar uh, New York Times, March 14, 2019, he said, Workers can and should be getting a much better deal than they are. 
and to the extent that they are not, the fault lies not in our robots, but in our political leadership. Which it means if you got the most advanced or smart technologies without a smart leadership, this is, cannot go anywhere from here. There is a consensus now that among the international and regional experts, specialities and officials that data wealth would be more valuable than oil wealth in the near future. World's governments are expected to face more pressure to ensure new jobs for future generation in the age of digitalization, artificial intelligence, the fourth industrial revolution and 3D printing. Uh, UAE interested in forecasts that say that in the next 30 years, the world will see changes and developments faster than what we have seen in the past 3,000 years. 47% of jobs will vanish in the coming years due to artificial intelligence and global investment in artificial intelligence will exceed investment in the oil sector. AI, which is artificial intelligence, will add more than $15 trillion uh, to the world economy by 2030. Uh, it means more than tenfold the value of global oil sales. With the huge and rapid technological development and global shifts as a result of fourth industrial revolution, in the coming years, AI engine of progress, growth, and prosperity in the coming year. AI and the ensuing innovation can pave the way for a new world that may look like uh, science fiction now, but current science affirm that establishing this world is near. Unilateral solutions, which is efforts taken by each country, are not enough at all. Collective and agreed upon solutions are more useful and sustainable, especially in the light of growing challenges that require more incorporation and integration, something Arab Gulf countries should be aware of. Klaus Schwab, the executive chairman of the World Economic Forum, affirmed the importance of cybersecurity in the age of data flow. He pointed out that the world needs more international cooperation, especially in the field of cybersecurity, because world economies have become more digital than ever. In the light of these potential changes in the world, Christine Lagarde, Managing Director of the International Monetary uh, Fund, uh, IMF, affirmed the need for change and reform to prepare for the future. Lagarde retreated the importance of regional and international integration and coordination of various trajectories that are leading development. There is a need to move from taking, uh, talking about uh, organization and states towards taking, talking about entities capable of coping with changes in the world at the time when data and funds are transnational. This requires reforms at the national level in all countries, especially in regards to the training of youth on modern technologies to enable them to keep up with time. Five million new young people coming into the market every year. 
IMF chief said. Moving to the GCC region. All reports published at the World Government Summit uh, uh, held in Dubai said that GCC countries can save almost $138 billion by 2030 if they adopt a secular economic model corresponding to nearly 1% of the region's cumulative GDP between 2020 and 2030. A secular economy aims to decouple economic growth from the use of natural resources and ecosystems by using those resources more effectively. There is no doubt that this is an important part of the innovative, creative, and smart solution to face challenges and move towards the post-oil age, an issue that GCC countries have started to deal with it seriously. While UAE strategies are moving to be less dependent on oil, we notice that the Arab Gulf countries are still more dependent on oil and their strategies to create wealth and manage the economy. A report entitled Putting GCC Cities in the Loop, Sustainable Growth in a Secular Economy, which was published at the World Government Summit, said that under the uh, prevalent linear economic model, the region is depleting its resources at an accelerated rate, generating unprecedented waste and emissions that are causing enormous social, economic, and environmental damage. Author of this report retreated the need of increasing integration among GCC countries calling for moving beyond individual uh, solution and plans. They, they said that GCC countries need to move away from the current linear model uh, described as take, make, use, waste. For instance, the region households are responsible for the highest consumption of uh, electricity in the world, while their gasoline consumption per capita compared to that of the North America, the region with the most intensive usage of gasoline, this is not sustainable. So there is a pressing need to move to an alternative economic model before it is too late. The report pointed out that a secular economy is a holistic solution that seeks to enhance the value and productivity of material resources and minimize any value leakage in order to have a positive economic and environmental effect. The concept uh, drives its inspiration from nature biological and technical cycles by creating a closed loop material cycles. Or authors of this report said, benefits of the secular economy for GCC cities are a flexible and durable built environment, a clean and lean mobility system, and an environmentally aware society. A Munich Security uh, Reports 2019 pointed out that a key uh, enables of AI-driven economic growth, such as investment and research, digital absorption, uh, connectedness, and labor market structures differ strongly by countries. Some countries with an 
underdeveloped digital infrastructure are likely to fall behind, creating significant digital inequalities that could have implication for the geopolitical balance for decades to come. This applies to GCC bloc because member countries vary in their response to huge digital shifts and their impact on the economy, society, lifestyle, management, and policy making. According to MasterCard company, the UAE is keen to apply the concept of smart services, which qualifies it to be among the top list of smart cities index. MasterCard pointed out that countries make three main gains when they apply the concept of shifting into smart cities. Reducing cost, improving the quality of life for citizens by saving time and fast services, and extended the lifespan of cities uh, assist and increase the feasible of using this assist. Most of what has been discussed in the previous panel, uh, the Hyperloop, also this is, has been introduced uh, to UAE. There are many smart services now already applied in uh, UAE. Thank you for listening and hope one day you can visit my country. Thank you very much.